As you have heard over the past 40 days, Independence Center offers many services for people with mental illness. Our clubhouse offers an array of services such as housing. And I, I started attending the Independence Center. They helped me get my first apartment when I was 21. Help with education and employment. The specific things that I'm excited about are um, expanding our education supports, learning for community college and post-secondary plans, but also high set uh, programs or high school equivalency. Um, Independence Center has helped me in so many ways. Um, I've got employment opportunities from them, and it's just been an amazing experience. The best part about support for employment is you, you're still at the center, you have your own job, but you're still with the Independence Center, and they can help you. You're not just out there by yourself. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with the place, and it ended up totally changing my career path, and then I got super duper lucky to get the opportunity to come back and work here. A focus on mental and physical wellness. Mom, the Independence Center turned out to be a place of well-being and recovery that I've never been a part of before. It's not a hospital setting. The clubhouse is a place full of things to do that make it seem like a work day. I like, you know, enjoying the meals, you know, working out, talking to people. But the center got into wellness in 2002, and that's when I got a purpose. I attended smoking cessation class at the Independence Center and have a report that I've been frequently smoking for quite some time now, and I don't plan on going back. I wanted to feel comfortable to be myself up or down, However it's looked at, I, I wanted to feel safe to, to be that way, and, that, and the Independent Center has done that for me. Allows for social skills to be practiced daily. I was just so alone, so very much alone, and you really can't survive that way. I feel, you know, I, I, I feel like I wouldn't be alive without the Independent Center, and having friends is a big part of that. My past attempts with therapy or self-help groups had only forced me to address my mental illness on a regular basis. The center allowed me to focus on other skills and talents that I might have despite my illness. Offers you the opportunity to engage with people socially. It also offers you the opportunity to get training to work. The basis of the clubhouse is working together, sharing ideas, learning about each other to get the work done. Well, it seemed like a really good fit for me. And the reason why I like the Independent Center is because all the, of the relationships that I've developed over the years. Um, I went from knowing five people in the city to knowing 150, maybe 200 people. That's helped me because it gives me something to do each day, something to look forward to each day. Instead of just laying down in bed with my illness, I get to come out here and be a person. What? I like uh, talking to members and staff. Yeah, this place has taught me how to get back into society where I don't have to worry about people like that. And even though sometimes I still have anxiety, uh, I've, I've learned coping skills even. And it's not all about me, it's about us, you know, we're one. And originally I just came to the clubhouse to get away from my parents because I was a 29-year-old man living with my parents, unemployed. Almost from day one I was here, I found that you know, it's good just to walk around and people know your name and they actually genuinely care to know how you're doing and what you're up to. So, what I always tell people is there's a place for you here at the Independent Center. I found some like-minded musicians and uh, we had an Independent Center band. So, uh, we had a rehearsal space and I liked it because it was a drug-free environment. My first day of orientation, I felt really involved, really cared for it, and like, it always felt like I had a connection with people. Living with mental illness meaningfully and purposefully requires support. This is why the value of the clubhouse is immeasurable. But here, there is an environment where every single person has the value that everybody else has out in the community without that label of mental illness. So. I can say at this point that there's not much I can do or will ever do again 
that can't be credited to the Independent Center. And offers stigma-free environment where people can be themselves. I always ask myself sometimes when I look around, look at people and I'm like, gosh, why can't I do that? Why can't I get up and go to work and feel normal? And when I come here, I feel normal. It's been a kind of rough journey, you know. A lot of people don't understand mental illness. They stereotype you and just think all in all there's something is wrong with you when it might be something wrong with them. A lot of people don't know how much good that Independent Center does for people with mental illness. Uh, you're able to kind of walk through our doors here and to walk in and just leave that stigma somewhere else and be able to just come in here and be around people, um, feel normal, uh, and be able to build some relationships and find out what it is you want to do or what you need to do to kind of get your life back together. And when I was in the hospital, boom, there was the Independent Center. They come in like the, like the cavalry. <laughs> just multiple ways to help all of us to just continue to grow and work and live in the community and just gain the independence, whether it's through music or whether it's through work, through, through the work for the day. We just prioritize, write the stuff down, the things you like and the things you don't like, and go back to Independent Center and tell them. They might have a way of helping you. If it weren't for the Independent Center, I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure where it would be. I feel that everybody should donate to them. If this establishment is trying to enlighten, trying to encourage, be honest with you, I had no interest in dancing. They've been trying to get me to dance for the past couple of years, and then I finally gave in, and I'm glad I did at that time because I had a wonderful time. And the Independent Center really helped me out a lot. Helped me find jobs, get on housing, and uh, you know, even look out for my son. They even have a bank, you know, that loan people money sometimes when they need help. Like having the best friend, and I really appreciate the Independent Center for being here. The center offers you all kinds of opportunities for work and education. There's no stigma here at the center. Hopefully we can change the thought process and the stigma surrounding mental health. I don't care where you're from or who you are. It's what's inside your heart. Thank you for following our 40 Stories in 40 Days project. Specifically, we would like to thank all of the members and staff for all of the hard work while putting this together. Thank you to our supporters and friends for sharing this project. Independent Center is a 501c3 nonprofit that depends on our community's financial and emotional support to provide these unparalleled services to those in need.